What's up, everybody? Welcome to another of my Red Dead Redemption 2 quick basic guides for new players. Uh, today's going to be a little weird. We're going to be experimenting uh, with some of the money making methods uh, for some of the newer players. And maybe they can see some of the profits or the losses and see if they uh, want to spend their time uh, robbing a train, robbing a stagecoach, maybe doing a bounty or two, selling a pelt. So first things first, we have our satchel. I already picked up a bounty. And we're not going to do the bounty, but I can just show you how much it's going to be. $75. I think that might be a little high for the usual bounties, but there is one way already knocked out. Uh, we have a perfect elk skin, I think, on the back of my, the back of my horse. So we're going to head to the trapper and see how much that's going to get us. Trapper is definitely this way now. Got to be careful in these major cities. You'll rack up a bounty real quick and then you'll end up losing a ton of money. First person here, so let's work. Mr. Trapper Man, how much are you going to give me for this pelt? Eight dollars and then three dollars for a beaver. Let's sell some of that. So, right now, the, uh, the bounty is definitely uh, winning out. Let's head back to the train. Maybe we're opposite train. Now, unfortunately, if we rob a train, probably going to pick up a, uh, a decent bounty on my head. It's probably going to give us a net loss. <coughs> well, we'll see. We will see. Actually, I'm not going to do the stagecoach, I don't think, because that is going to be later for, for the players. Ladies. Come on, buddy. Let's just go pick a random station. Now, we've, I've gone over robbing trains in the, another video, but uh, the method I think works well enough is just find the car that's farthest away from security and has some people in it, and you'll be you'll be good to go. I think uh, I think the video I did with the train robbery, I ended up getting say $25 give or take and about a hundred dollar bounty so that wasn't worthwhile but it's still a it's still an option for anybody that wants to cause a little havoc uh, it's probably safer uh, if you don't want to get a bounty to rob a moving train and just to uh, run away when you got all your goods but I've got a little bit of cash right now so, but we're just gonna see what we can get out of here on our mask there's a uh, security another passenger car security way back there we'll see what happens hello let's see how long this will take nine bucks Eighteen and a silver locket. Twenty-eight. Ooh, I actually need that gold jointed bracelet. Twenty-eight. That's thirty-seven. See, we got a log coming on our right side. So about thirty-eight bucks and some jewelry, but we are now uh, wanted. So. We'll be lucky if we kind of break even on that. Run away, run away. Let's go see if we have a fence anywhere near us. I know there's a fence in Roads. 
just try to make a beeline over there. So that's fine. I'm sure I've got some extra uh, jewelry on me, though. Oh, Jesus. Look at these guys. Honestly, it looks like it's uh, looking like the bounty is going to be a little better than the rest of these. But there is still the gold bar glitch if you haven't made it far enough in the story, as well as the money clip glitch in Matic Pond. And since we have a little bit of ways to go to Rhodes, I'll just tell you how to do the the glitch real fast. Uh, if you have not bought all of the recipes, uh, there is a pond. You're going to have to forgive me. There it is. Matic Pond. So there is going to be a tree trunk right here at the bottom of the sea. And it will have a, uh, a lockbox in it. And if you have not bought all of the uh, pamphlets and you're still in the story, basically what you want to do is take out the lockbox, open it, don't take anything from it, save the game, or turn on, have autosave turned off first. Sorry, that's pretty important. Turn autosave off first. Go to the Matic Pond, take out the lockbox, open the lockbox, don't take anything from it, uh, save the game, immediately load that save, right? And then you're going to take out uh, endless supply of $20 bills. So if uh, glitching is the way that you want to make your cash, that is absolutely a method if you uh, are still in the story and haven't uh, gotten the pamphlets. So again, that's keep autosave off, turn, turn autosave off, Go to the Matic Pond, which is just below the sea. Uh, take out the lockbox. Open the lockbox, but don't take anything out. Save the game. Reload the game. And then you should be uh, you should pick up uh, an endless amount of uh, $20 bills. So we're just about to this. Okay, maybe not just about. Let's see if we can cut some corners here get this video down come on horse I don't know if that was a big enough shortcut at all I suppose we I don't know if that's a uh, I believe we could have robbed that one point is you're going to end up accumulating a bunch of money over time if you don't uh, rack up a ton of bounties and whatever method works for you and whatever is that you're having fun with that's that's the most important part it doesn't matter if you want to sell perfect elk pelts for eight bucks a piece every time oh that was steep I'm so sorry I'm so sorry. Come on now. So, what do we got? The gold jointed bracelet, a couple of the silver, silver necklaces, and we'll see what we get from that, but I don't know if that'll beat. I think we need to make, with the straight cash that we got up there, we need to make uh, maybe $40 extra. What's up, homie? All right, here we go. So let's say we got what 35 give or take so here's 41 48 
I don't know if we got two of these. Where? I don't remember. Uh, we'll just sell this 53. Uh, 63. Yeah, it, it looks like the bounty is going to be you know, a lot safer. Uh, 75. And I think I actually want to keep this one. So, give or take, robbing a train with bounties, give or take 75. Uh, searching after a bounty, that you, I think, between 25 and 75, depending on the bounty. Sell some, uh, sell some pelts there in between, but uh, loot everything, loot everything and everybody. You're going to end up getting a fence and uh, let's see how much money I have right now. 700 bucks. That's not a ton, but it'll get me through any bounties that I need coming up. And I'm still very happy looting everybody I find and seeing all the different stuff they have on them. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to click the buttons. If not, that's fine. I know I tend to drone on a little bit and I definitely hate the sound of my own voice that's for another time uh, if you want to uh, hear my horrible voice and hear me drone on about any other aspect of the game feel free to let me know and be awesome to everybody <laughs>